I worry more about being prepared than I should. And there's so many things going through my head. When I think I have pretty much everything prepared, it's crazy at times, because I just keep going. I literally didn't sleep from February through April. The walleye, to me, has always been the challenge. I always wanted to be a professional fisherman. Actually, on the way to the dam in town, I'd ride my bike past uh, an older guy's house. He was like the legend in town of fishing. Well, them little ships would come out on their bicycles. He knew all of the lakes around and all the little secret spots. Well, you had to be a little bit careful as you went along in life of who you took to your spot and who you did. He was a recovering alcoholic and completely against drinking. He was a role model to look up to. That's when my parents got divorced and uh, I actually lived with my mom the majority of the time. Bill really made me think when I was fishing. He would always talk about what we were fishing, what the structure was, this is why they're here. This is the weather that maybe set those fish up on this particular spot. Corey was serious. He picked up on everything. How he basically built my mind to think about what I was fishing. It literally it comes down to that to this day in tournaments. When it comes to tournament fishing especially, the weather changes, the fish change. Things happen, things break. When I get somewhere, I want to be prepared. I probably should worry about sleeping more. I'll stay up all night getting things ready. I'm adding rods to the boat, respool my lines. Baits that I'm going to use in the tournament, I change the hooks on those. Walleyes are super particular, and it's not just actions, it's colors as well. I want to understand the migrations, and they're going from here to there. And I want to develop that timeline and that pattern. Everyone looks at who I'm fishing against. You need to beat the walleyes before it even matters who's fishing the tournament. It's gonna be a perfect day to chase walleyes. It was in 2011. There was 275 boats. We ended up walking away with a win on that one. And I remember calling my mom. She's like, so what did you win? I'm like, 180 grand. Bill and, and everything he's taught me. I think he thinks that he had no part in where I'm at today, but I know it's true. I guess I taught him more about life than I did fishing. I just think I was there for him when he needed me, you know.